Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and on behalf of the United States Air Force, the Commander of Air Combat Command, General Mike Hostage, and all the men and women of Air Combat Command, we welcome you once again to the 2012 Joint Service Open House. I'm F-22 Raptor Maintenance Team Chief, Staff Sergeant John Lugo from Tempe, Arizona. Here with me is our safety observer and combat-ready fighter pilot, Captain Peter Legiri from Long Island, New York. The pilot for today's demonstration is Major Henry Schantz from Clinton, New Jersey. Major Schantz is a veteran fighter pilot with more than 1,600 hours in jet aircraft. Launching Major Schantz was our expert maintenance team, dedicated crew chiefs, Technical Sergeant Ryan Rogers from Randolph, New York, and Senior Airman Ryan Palmberg from Enfield, Connecticut. Avionic technicians today are Staff Sergeant Brian Stevenson from Jamestown, Ohio, and Senior Airman Steve Sanchez from Columbia, South Carolina. You are about to witness the maneuvering capability of the most advanced and most lethal fighter aircraft in your United States Air Force. The F-22 you will see today is an unmodified and fully combat-capable aircraft. While we can't show you everything that makes the Air Force's F-22 Raptor the most lethal fighter aircraft in the world, we will show you its raw power and thrust vectored maneuvering capability as it executes maneuvers that no other combat-ready fighter aircraft in the world can perform. The firepower of the Raptor comes in any combination of eight missiles and two 1,000-pound precision satellite-guided bombs. The F-22 also has an internal cannon capable of firing 6,000 rounds of 20mm ammunition per minute. It is a true first look, first shot, first kill weapon system. As today's demonstration begins from the right, you will see the Raptor execute a maximum power takeoff, producing 70,000 pounds of thrust from its two powerful F-119 engines. The Raptor will virtually leap off the runway in an amazing 1,000 feet. At a safe altitude, Major Shots will quickly loop the aircraft, reversing his flight path and then roll while diving straight down. So now it is time to stand up. Move forward and get ready. The show is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your United States Air Force's F-22 Raptor. Internal combat weapons load. 
Ready your cameras as the raptor banks in from the left and cycles his weapons bay doors. Folks, if you ever wondered where those bombs and missiles hide, here is your answer.
launch now is made to shot three positions to aircraft right, reduces the power, slowing the Raptor down to less than 90 knots, and loads up on a high angle of attack. After the patch, you'll once again feel the raw power of the jet as Major Sean slides those afterburners and climbs straight up into the vertical. Ladies and gentlemen, from the right, the Raptor's slow speed pass. It's right between the sound machine. see in this formation is the fact that the Mustang will be flying at over two-thirds of its top speed and the Raptor will be flying less than one-fourth or one-fifth of its top speed. So this is going to be uh, a very, very interesting formation and very, very much worth your while as we listen to music 
written by Dwayne O'Brien of the band Little Texas. He came to us at an air show a number of years ago and said, I wrote this song about the Warbirds, I hope you like it. We did, and for nearly 15 years, the Air Combat Command has been using this song, and the song we remember, as its anthem for the United States Air Force Heritage Flight. John? Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take a moment to describe the history behind what you are about to watch. In 1997, the leaders of Air Combat Command so selected a select group of retired military and civilian pilots to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the United States Air Force. From this gathering, the Heritage Flight was born.
on behalf of the United States Air Force, General Mike Hostage, and all the men and women of Air Combat Command, thank you for your attendance and thank you for your patriotism and support. John Lugo, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the United States Air Force Heritage Flight. Just getting ready to land is the F-22 Raptor. Vlado will be coming back around. And uh, let me share with you again uh, that the Heritage Flight uh, was, uh, as John told you, started back in 1997. And until last year, it was funded by the Department of Defense. And just last year, in 2000, actually in late 2010, the, uh, the Heritage Flight was taken over by a privately owned foundation. And if you'd like to learn more about the Air Force Heritage Flight, how it works, how they are able to bring together these retired military and civilian warbird pilots and the current Air Force uh, pilots in the current military tactical aircraft. You can go to airforceheritageflight.org. You can contribute, you can become a member, and you can make sure that this legacy of the Harris Heritage Flight is continued for many, many years to come. Thanks to Vlado Lenick and the B-51 Mustang coming all the way from Illinois, and of course, Major Henry Shadow Shantz in the F-22 Raptor for his uh, performance today. Was that an amazing airplane or what, folks? Coming up in just a moment. Well, I'm going to keep my ear open because as we bring back the P-51 Mustang, you can see him on uh, his base leg right now. We'll get him on the ground, and then the next aircraft will be cleared in. Wouldn't it be great if you could stay connected with the things that matter most in your life? Imagine watching your kids get home safely without being there or controlling your home from anywhere. Well, now you can. Introducing Xfinity Home from Comcast, the new total home security and home control solution. Combining 24-7 monitoring and online management tools, Xfinity Home gives you more control and greater peace of mind. Stop by our booth to learn more or call one 800 xfinity Xfinity today. Thanks to to the folks at Massanutten Resort and Water Park. A water park. Come visit Massanutten Resort and Water Park in the breathtaking Shenandoah, Shenandoah Mountain Valley of Northwest Virginia.